Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to be taking a look at SCP-1084, the damaged mausoleum. This particular item falls under the object class of Euclid, so you know we're in for a wild ride. Let's dive in and see what mysteries this mausoleum holds. The containment of SCP-1084 and its surrounding town has led to the construction of Containment Site-153. The site has been designed to accommodate the anomalies associated with SCP-1084 and to monitor and control any potential threats. The town has been cordoned off and surveillance measures have been put in place to prevent unauthorized access. The containment procedures have proven effective in preventing any further anomalous activity from spreading beyond the site. Exhumations of the gravesite revealed a long-deceased humanoid with decomposition appropriate for the given time frame. If the gravestone is correct, the body belongs to the American author, Data Redacted, who disappeared in Mexico in late December 1913. Analysis of the body suggests it was killed by multiple gunshot wounds at close range, which is consistent with the reports gathered from SCP-1084-1. The anomalous properties that seem to emanate from SCP-1084 are centered on the nearby village. Experimental subjects entering the village feel a strong sense of discomfort and guilt with no discernible cause, and invariably request to leave as soon as possible. All of the buildings showed significant weather damage consistent with a lack of upkeep over many decades. Perhaps most strangely of all, it is no longer possible for any human to recall or record the village's name, this has been confirmed by experimentation even at remote locations, as any conversation about the village including the town's name consistently results in all parties being unable to remember it. The only person living in the village has been designated SCP-1084-1. Her birth name has been determined to be Estrelita Juarez, if her diary is to be believed, she has lived in the village since her birth in 1896. The woman is mute and spends much of her time wandering the streets of the town silently, stopping only to sleep on the floor of various buildings. Every year on January 25, SCP-1084-1 will return to SCP-1084, reach into the mausoleum, and remove a bottle of seven-year-old rum, confirmed by chemical analysis, and a single glass. She will then pour a drink into the glass, pour it over the grave, place the bottle and the glass atop the mausoleum, and lay down. Under no circumstances will SCP-1084-1 consume any of the rum. Experimentation has confirmed on multiple occasions that no bottle of rum exists within the mausoleum until she reaches in to retrieve it. The woman will then sleep beside the mausoleum, awaken in the morning, and return to the town. The original home of SCP-1084-1 was where a diary was discovered, with entries that shed light on its history. On January 21, 1914, an entry in the diary described the narrator's intentions of taking advantage of an American visitor, believing that they could secure money by becoming his wife or through other means. The following entry on January 24, 1914 expressed disgust towards the American visitor, accusing him of lacking honor and mistreating the writer. The narrator vowed to seek satisfaction for the mistreatment. The diary entry on January 25, 1914 detailed the narrator's decision to involve their parents and other town members in a plot against the American visitor. It was revealed that the visitor was killed and his body left outside the town. On January 26, 1914, it was noted that before the visitor died, he made a cryptic statement about nobody ever speaking of them again. The narrator dismissed the statement and declared that the visitor belonged in hell. By January 31, 1914, there were reports of strange occurrences and a decline in the town's population, with some residents leaving and others taking their own lives. The entry on February 3, 1914 mentioned more deaths in the town and the dwindling population, with the narrator expressing the inability to speak of the town anymore. By February 28, 1914, the diary revealed that there were only a few residents left, expressing remorse and carving an inscription into a mausoleum where the American visitor was buried. 
The diary entries continued with repeated expressions of sorrow and remorse on May 31, 1914, January 25, 1915, and January 25, 1916. The diary provided a somber and haunting account of the events following the death of the American visitor. 